as a basketball coach, I had the ability to see him do what he really enjoyed doing, which was motivating people, and his ability to make every player on the team feel like they were the most important player on the team is something that cannot even be expressed. He was unbelievable. He loved being on the basketball court. He loved motivating the players, not just the starting five, not just the eight men in the rotation, but every person on the team. Our championship team had 15 players on it. Each person felt like he was the most important part of the team, and that was all attributed to Joel Rishdi. And every time we're on the basketball court and every time we're in Halal Yeshiva, we're all thinking about him, and we miss him every day. He took on a team that was struggling with leadership, dedication, direction, and from the get-go, he really taught us to take our time, come together as a team, and really to instill that word team in all of our minds and make sure that we know what our goal and purpose was. Now that I'm older and as your life gets more complicated, you realize what an effort it was to come in and not only, you know, be a coach, but also to really put his heart into it and, uh, you know, give that time and give that effort and give that care and really that love to the team. And I think that's what made it so special. And, you know, that kind of that showed through to everyone. And that's, you know, why it's still something that we talk about. It's still something that we cherish today. And, um, you know, it was really just a special time for all of us. I grew up with Joel. Though I was younger, I played basketball with him quite often in the schoolyard. And he always wanted to be on Joel's team because he had the quality of intensity. He was a fierce competitor. He had the quality of leadership. When you were on Joel's team, you knew you would always win because he would make you a better player. And he didn't just teach those kids how to play basketball. He taught those kids sportsmanship beyond what sportsmanship was. The, those kids that came out of Joel's team was amazing. They, each kid has better qualities than the next. Joel Rusty was a lot of things to a lot of people, but to me, I knew him as coach. He was my basketball coach, and he used basketball as a metaphor for life to get through to the younger generation. He ta taught lessons like dedication, leadership, heart, setting goals. He would say, if someone hit a ridiculous shot, he would say, God bless him. He taught us to put God in everything in our life, and um, his personal style of coaching was um, that he would make a personal connection with every player and he had emotion, he would scream, he had emotion, and that emotion stayed with us throughout our lives. And now there's a lot of people walking around who have uh, the lessons that he taught in, in, his, in their minds and I'm definitely one of those people. And uh, the lessons that he taught and the dedication and the heart and the community involvement and the representing your community every time you go out and do something, that definitely stayed with us and is definitely echoing throughout the community today. Uh, I remember one of the first times I ever picked up a basketball was in his driveway and pal drive with Michael and Eddie and uh, I didn't have a dribble at the time, I was probably like four or five years old and uh, he would teach you those things, he would teach you the most basic things to the most uh, advanced things and, and it wasn't just sports, it was about everything, it was about a way of living, about pride for our community um, and uh, I, the, I can't really say enough about how much of an impact he's had on my life and uh, how much we miss him and how much we'll never forget him. I'm so proud today that anytime his name is mentioned, that I'm so proud that I could say he's my cousin, and that we did. We always looked up to him, and he was the oldest in our family, and he was just always there for everybody. He was always there. To this day, every time I think of him, I smile, knowing that he's always there, patting us on the back, giving us that feeling of support, and he is uh, always going to be with us in our hearts and our minds. I, I wish everybody sitting in the audience watching this video uh, would have had the experience and the opportunity to be Joel's nephew. I was fortunate enough to have had that opportunity. And uh, the memories were really priceless. Uh, the experiences, the conversations. Um, it's often said that you, you don't appreciate the time that you have with a person. That wasn't true at all. I very much appreciated every minute that I had with him, and uh, I always will cherish him. How very fortunate we are here at Hillel Yeshiva to have our endowment fund bear the name of Joel Rishdi Allah Shalom. There is no doubt that the legacy of Joel, of Torah, mitzvot, education, will live on through the endowment fund, through his family, through his boys, through his wife Susan. I love you and I miss you, Joel.